वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइज माई नेम इज के पी सिंह एंड आई वेलकम वन एर ऑल टू टूडे सेशन ऑफ वीकली करंट अफेयर्स कैचअप ओके इफ ऑल इफ यू कैन सी द स्क्रीन एंड इफ ऑडियो इज फाइन प्लीज राइट डाउन येस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वेलकम चारू अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू वेलकम आर्या हेलो शर्वरी वेलकम अनबोर वेलकम ईशान्या वेलकम रतोजा हेलो राधिका हर्षदा हैवन हर्ष अंजलि तेजस्वनी थैंक यू सो मच गाइस चलिए लेट्स स्टार्ट वेलकम जैन वेलकम देलिया वेलकम शशांक गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेल सो नॉलेज जिम एंड बिस्क्वेस्ट एपिसोड्स वर रिलीज ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ मार्च एंड सेवनटीन मार्च आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव सॉल्व दोज नेक्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स क्वेज विल बी going live on 2nd of april so do solve that okay so in the previous episode we were discussing world happiness index and i was not really happy after doing that session because you know we found out that india is not doing that great in those parameters us ranking list mein india bahut piche hai like south asia mein to hamara hal bahut hi kharab hai even countries like sri lanka were ranked above us Sri Lanka, which is going through so much of economic crisis right now, still people were happy. I don't know about what. So I started researching about different ranking lists, जहाँ पे India अच्छा करता है. So I came across one, and we'll start with that. So there, there is something in which we are doing really good. So we are uh, always topping this chart in particular. So let's start with the first passage. As always, we will have. uh passage based questions comprehension based question in the first phase and then we'll go for a rapid fire round first passage on your screen who pollution list of cities so india's air pollution worsened in 2021 according to the world air quality report released by iq air the swiss firm this ends a three year trend of improving air quality the average air pollution measured in the lethal and microscopic pm 2.5 pollutant is 58.1 microsiemens per cubic meter which is more than 10 times the who air quality guidelines no city in india met the who standard north india is worse dash is the world's most polluted capital of the world for the fourth consecutive year can you name the world's most polluted capital with pollution raising uh, rising up almost 15% over the previous year Okay, who is the first one to answer today? Uh, Muskan is the first one to respond. Correct answer is Delhi. So Delhi is world's most polluted capital. Ah, so not just that. So air pollution levels are very high in Delhi. North India is worse. Delhi is world's most polluted capital. Air pollution level here were almost twenty times above the WHO safety limits, with PM two point five clocking in at ninety six point four microsiemens per cubic meter for the annual average. The safe limit is five. While Delhi air pollution ranks at number four globally, the world's most polluted place is in India's Rajasthan. Can you name the city? World's most polluted city. world's most polluted city is the second question from the screen okay followed by uttar pradesh gaziabad on delhi's eastern border so 10 of the top 15 most polluted cities 10 of the top 15 most polluted cities are in india and mostly around the national capital indian cities dominate the list of 100 most polluted places more than half are in haryana and uttar pradesh An air quality life index developed by University of Chicago shows that residents in Delhi and Lucknow, for instance, could add about a decade to their life expectancy if air quality levels met the WHO standards. So, 10 years old will increase if you move out of Delhi. Therefore, I moved out of Delhi and shifted to Rajasthan. I think that wasn't a good choice. So, uh, let's go. So, Rajasthan is the world's most polluted city. Where is it? No, not Ajmer, Vanshika. Alankrita says Bhiwadi. Bhiwadi, uh, Deriya Bhiwadi is the right answer. Riddhi Bhiwadi is the right answer. Correct answer is Bhiwadi. Abhijit also uh, is writing his name again. Again, I don't know why Abhijit. So Abhijit is not the right answer. Right answer is Bhiwadi. Chaliye, let's move on. 
so delhi and bhiwani from this slide will move on india has how many cities in the 100 most polluted cities so is ranking list mein india ke kitne shehar hai your options are 60 61 62 or 63 chaliye be optimistic 60 61 62 or 63 how many cities in top 100 sharvari is the first one to answer and obviously you guessed it right correct answer is option d it is 63 cities from india ye hai chaliye so in dash india's ministry uh, of environment forest and climate change enacted the national clean air program so national clean air program was enacted in which year 2013 2015 2017 or 2019 so india's uh, national clean air program was enacted in which year 2013 15 well guys correct answer for this one is 2019 so option d will be the right answer moving on when is national pollution day control day observed in india national pollution control day kab manaya jata hai your options are 2nd october 2nd november 2nd december or 2nd january 2nd october 2nd november 2nd december or 2nd january national pollution control day important why because we have topped the chart once again so correct answer is second let me see who gave the right answer first second gen is incorrect shavari Pushka says second december Arya will go with c second december second december is the right answer we should be celebrating it every day although so which of the following statement is incorrect option a india's annual average pm 2.5 levels reached 58.1 in 2000, 2021 ending a three-year trend of improving air quality india's annual pm 2.5 averages have now returned to pre-quarantine concentrations measured in 2019 option b india was home to 14 of the 15 most polluted cities in central and south asia in 2021 option c in 2021 mumbai had recorded particulate matter that is pm uh, 2.5 annual average of 46.4 microgram per cubic meter nearly nine times above the world health orga organization's limit option d none of these let's see if you are pointing out any particular statement also tell me what is the incorrect fact muskan chaliya that's correct so shant will go with a that's not right Anmol will go with B. Vishanya will say C. Well, guys, correct answer is option B. That means that is the incorrect statement. Then tell me what needs to be changed. So if it wasn't 14 out of 15, then how many? So Astega, that's correct. So not 14, but only 11. So we had 11 out of 15. So Baki ke char kisko milege South Asia mein? Our dear neighbor someone who never fails us it's pakistan so remaining four are from pakistan Chale, moving on world air quality report as per the world air quality report iq air, uh, air releases it it's a swiss firm india's air pollution worsened in 2021 in fact air pollution uh, this is reputation so i will skip this para the report is based on pm 2.5 air quality data from 6,475 cities in 117 countries around the world. As per the report, in 2021, India was home to 11 of the 15 most polluted cities in Central and also in South Asia. The remaining four cities were from Pakistan. The report stated that India's annual PM 2.5 averages have returned to pre-quarantine concentrations as measured in 2019. Air pollution continued to spike to unhealthy levels in 21. And New Delhi continues to be the world's most polluted capital city for the fourth consecutive year. The index listed 35 Indian cities with the worst air quality tag for 2021 with Rajasthan's Bhivadi topping the chart. Closely followed by Ghaziabad. The report also revealed that not a single country managed to meet WHO's air quality standard in 2021. WHO's guidelines of September 21 warrant good air quality with PM 2.5 concentration level between 0 to 5 grams. Uh, however, all these cities have ultra-fine particulate matter. 
2.5 levels at least 10 times more than the approved limits. So it is not safe anywhere. Why is air pollution a cause of concern? Because according to this report's summary, air pollution is now considered to be the world's largest environmental health threat. Accounting for 7 million deaths around the world every year, air pollution causes and aggravates many diseases ranging from asthma to cancer, lung illnesses to heart diseases. See, estimated daily, daily economic cost of air pollution has been figured at 8 billion US dollars. So that is like 3 to 4 percent of gross world product. That's a lot. So from one bad news to another bad news, we'll move on to TB day. So world TB day. Each year we commemorate world tuberculosis day on dash to raise public awareness about the devastating health, social and economic consequences of TB and to step up efforts to end the global TB epidemic. So on which day do we celebrate world Tuberculosis Day is your first question. Shrishti is the first one to answer. And Shrishti, that's correct. Then Rhea Thakkar, that's right. Swastika Khandelwal, that's correct. Yatharth, that's right. Correct answer is 24th March. Moving on. Okay. Uh, so the day marks the day in 1882 when Dr. Robert Koch announced that he has discovered the bacterium that causes TB which opened the way towards diagnosing and curing this disease. Bonus question. Can you name the bacteria which causes TB? Name the bacteria that causes TB. So TB remains one of the world's deadliest infectious killers. Uh, every day over 4,100 people lose their lives to TB and close to 28,000 people fall ill with this preventable and curable disease. Global efforts to combat TB have saved an estimated 66 million lives since the year 2000. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has reversed the years of progress made in the fight to end TB. For the first time in over a decade, TB deaths increased in 2020. The theme of the World TB Day 2022 is dash is your second question. So, uh, Harshita Kabra gave the correct answer. Srishti, that's correct. So it is mycobacterium, check this, mycobacterium tuberculosis is the right answer. For the bonus question, what about the second question, theme of this year's World TB Day? So this theme conveys the urgent need to invest resources to ramp up the fight against TB and achieve the commitments to end TB made by global leaders. This is especially critical in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic that has put end TB progress at risk and to ensure equitable access to prevention and care in line with WHO's drive towards achieving universal health coverage. People with TB are among the most marginalized and vulnerable in society and face barriers to accessing life-saving care. This, word, this statement was made by Marcos Espinal, Director of Communicable Diseases and Environmental Detriments of, uh, Determinants of Health at PAHO. Give me full form of PAHO, another bonus question. Okay, what is the answer for the second fill in the blank? Let me check. Uh, so, first one to answer this time is the idea. He says, invest to end and save lives. Invest to end TB and save lives. That's correct. Chavi gave answer for the previous question. Okay, invest to end TB and save lives. Swastika, that's correct. So, correct answer is invest to end TB and save lives. Okay, second bonus question is full form of PAHO. Anmol is the first one to answer this time. Pan American Health Organization. Pan American Health Organization. Yatharth, that's correct. Heaven, that's correct. Moving on. Since 2016, India has been on a mission mode to eliminate TB by dash five years ahead of the global target. So global target se pehle hum khatam karna chaate. So our dear leader Modi ji came up with an ambitious goal. And our health ministry and doctors were trying to achieve it before time so 2025 2030 2035 or 2040 so india is on a mission mode to eliminate tb by which year 2025 30 35 or 40 palak that's correct rana that's correct errors that's right haven that's incorrect correct answer is 2025 so global target is 2030. India has taken up target of 2025. World 
Tuberculosis Day is one of dash official global health campaigns marked by WHO. So how many campaigns have been marked by WHO? Just check out WHO's website, you will find the answer. Your options are 11, 12, 13 or 14. 11, 12, 13 or 14. First one to answer this time is I believe Harshita. Sakshi will go with C. Harshita will go with B. Achyut will go with B. Riddhi will go with A. Correct answer guys is option A. There are 11 such campaigns. Chale. Recently, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Dash, has taken over charge as the chairperson of Stop TB Partnership Board. So you have to name the guy. Your options are Harsh Vardhan, Mansuk Mandavia, Dr. Randeep Guleria, Dr. Pratima Bhomek. Easy question. So, so many people were able to answer this time. Chale, let's see. Jaldi se. Harsh Vardhan, Mansuk Mandavia, Randeep Guleria or Pratima Bhomek. Right answer is option B. Anmol, you can type it once. That will do. And yes, your answer is correct. Option B, Mansuk Mandavia. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Your options are. Option A. As per WHO's Global TB Report 2021, India reported 18 lakh TB cases in 2020 compared to 24 lakh cases in 2019. That's a huge jump. With a total est option B, with a total estimated incidence of 25.9 lakh TB cases, India is home to a quarter of the global burden of the disease. Option C, with a fourfold increase in the budget to tackle the disease and patient-centric national strategic plan for TB elimination, India had taken enormous strides towards reaching its goal. Option D, none of these. Okay. Yatharth will go with B. In, in these type of questions, answering or just mentioning the option is not enough. You have to tell me why that statement is incorrect. Then only that makes sense. Otherwise, it's just a fluke. Correct answer this time is Sashang. That's right. Shri uh, is saying B. Why B, Shri? For him, we'll go with D. That's correct. Correct answer is option D. All these statements are correct. So, none of these. Okay. This was taken from PAHO's official website, paho.org. World TB Day. A bit more about World TB Day. The theme of World TB Day this year is invest to end TB and save lives. TB is caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Bacteria usually attacks the lungs, but TB bacteria can attack any part of the body such as kidney, spine and even brain. We celebrate TB day on March 24th every year and we try to raise public awareness about the devastating health, social and economic consequences of TB. This day uh, is celebrated in the memory of doc Dr. Robert Koch. It is on this day that Dr. Robert announced that he had discovered the bacterium that causes TB. And that way, new doors were opened for diagnosing and curing this disease. Okay, the TB remains one of the world's deadliest infectious killers. Each day, 4,100 people die because of TB and close to 28,000 people fall ill. Though it is preventable as well as curable. Global efforts to combat TB have saved as a... Uh, approximately 66 million lives since 2000. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh has launched, has launched a data-driven research to eradicate TB. So, they come up with good jumlas every time. This time it has been named Dare to Erade, Dare to Erade TB by the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Tech on the occasion of World TB Day. So, Dare to Erade TB will be the umbrella TB program for DBT comprising of Department of Biotechnology comprising of following key initiatives. So, kya kya karenge hum dare to erade mein. Uh, Indian Tuberculosis Genome Surveillance Consort uh, Consortium will be established. Then, Indian TB Knowledge Hub will come up with webinar series. And we will also host directed therapies against TB and developing an evidence-based regimen for treating extra pulmonary tuberculosis. In 2018, Prime Minister of India, Modi ji, had envisioned ending TB by 2025. But looking at what happened uh, in last one year, 
I think it is a difficult task to achieve. Union Minister for Health, Mr. Mansukh Mandavia, took charge as the chairperson to stop TB partnership board to stop TB partnership board in August 21. It is a board which was established in 2001 to eliminate TB as a public health problem. Moving on, India-Japan summit, something of my interest area. So, Prime Minister of Japan, His Excellency Dash, made an official visit to India as his first bilateral visit from 19 to 20th March 2022 for the India-Japan annual summit with His Excellency Sri Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India. So, name the current Prime Minister of Japan is the first question. Lavanya gave the correct answer, then we have Arya, then Tejaswini, then Palak, then Yamin. Yes, guys, correct answer is Mr. Kishida Fumio. Okay, moving on. The Prime Ministers recognized that the summit was taking place at a significant time as the two, two countries were celebrating the dash anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations. So, how many years have passed by? Kitne saal ho gaye Indo-Japan Indo -Japan relationship ko? Diplomatic relations and India was celebrating the 75th anniversary of its independence. So, obviously, uh, your answer should be less than 75. Tejaswini gave the correct answer. We'll wait for others. Okay. Reaffirming the special strategic correct answer is 70th. So, 70th anniversary we are making. 75 years to be India ki azadi ko hone wale. 70 years to be Japan ke saath diplomatic relations established ki. Okay. So, partnership between India and Japan, uh, so reaffirming the special strategic and global partnership between India and Japan, the Prime Ministers concurred that the shared values and principles enunciated in the India-Japan vision, uh, vision statement issued in 2018 are particularly relevant in the present context where global cooperation is required more than ever to address challenges that have become more acute. They, they highlighted their commitment to working in tandem towards a peaceful, stable and prosperous world based on rule-based order that respects sovereignty and territorial integrity of nations and emphasized the need for all countries to seek peaceful resolution of disputes in accordance with international law without resorting to threat or use of force or any attempt to unilaterally change status quo. So, they are indirectly hinting at our dear neighbor China as well as it's a veiled comment on Russia. In this regard, they reaffirmed their common vision for a free and open Indo-Pacific free from coercion. They shared the view that economics of economies of both countries in, in such a world would be powered by robust bilateral investment and trade flows through diversified, resilient, transparent, open, secure and predictable global supply chains that provide for economic security and prosperity of their peoples. First question, which edition of India-Japan summit was held in 2022? Your options are 11th, 12th, 13th or 14th. Which edition of India-Japan summit was held in 2022? Your options are 11th, 12th, 13th or 14th. Quickly. Okay, Yavin is the first one to answer. Then Pushkar, Riddhi, Palak, Yatharth, Ananya. Correct answer for this question is... Kitne options are 14, 13, 14, 13, 14, 13. Correct answer is 14th. Amina, that's correct. Vandana, that's right. Uh, 14th is right. Moving on. Earlier, the Indian PM virtually inaugurated a Japanese Zen Garden Kaizen Academy in which state? So, Zen Garden Kaizen Academy has been inaugurated in which state? Easy, easy to guess. Modi ji ne inaugurate kiya hai, to acha hi kiya hoga. Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka. Zen Garden Kaizen Academy has been inaugurated in which state? UP, Gujarat, MP or Karnataka. Right answer is option B. Most of you got it right. Correct answer is Gujarat. Recently, a joint military exercise between India and Japan was conducted at foreign training node Belagavi, Belgaon. What is the name of defense exercise between India and Japan? So, Indo-Japan defense exercise ka naam kya hai? Your options are Surya Kiran, Garuda Shakti, Mitra Shakti, Dharma Garden. Surya Kiran, Garuda Shakti, Mitra Shakti, Dharma Garden. Let's see. Ahmedabad 390. Okay, B, D, Garuda, 
धर्म डी चलिए कोई बात नहीं श्री विल गो विद सी हेवन विद डी यथार्थ विद डी प्रथमेश विल विद बी सो अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन देखिए कंफ्यूजन इज क्वाइट ऑब्वियस बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ दीज नेम्स आर कंफ्यूजिंग लाइक गरुड़ शक्ति मित्र शक्ति और ऐसे ही बहुत सारे शक्ति हम अलग अलग कंट्रीज के साथ दिखाते हैं सो राइट आंसर वो दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी इट इज धर्म गार्डन सो धर्म गार्डन इज द ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्साइज बायोलिटर मिलिट्री एक्साइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड जापान सो वॉट अबाउट गरुड़ शक्ति गरुड़ शक्ति किसके साथ होगा विच कंट्रीज एयरलाइन इज कॉल्ड गरुड़ गरुड़ा एयरलाइन सो अमीना गरुड़ शक्ति इज इन करेक्ट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्ट आंसर इज डी धर्म शक्ति सो गरुड़ा एयरलाइंस किस कंट्री की नेशनल एयरलाइंस है नॉर्थ श्रीलंका लवनिया बहुत तुक्के लगा रहे हैं इट्स इंडोनेशिया सो गरुड़ शक्ति इज ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज और इंडिया एंड इंडोनेशिया ओके वॉट अबाउट मित्र शक्ति मित्र शक्ति किसके साथ करते हैं हम लोग सो मित्र शक्ति इज ऑल्सो बायोलेट्रल मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज मित्र शक्ति मित्र शक्ति किसके साथ होता है हमारे मित्रों के नाम बताइए नेम आर फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द नेबरहुड चारू गेव द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस वन एर इज दैट इन करेक्ट Harshita, that's correct. Believe me, that's correct. Correct answer is India, Sri Lanka. So, Mitra Shakti, India or Sri Lanka ka joint exercise hota hai. Garu Shakti is India, Indonesia. What about Surya Kiran? Surya Kiran kis ke saath hoga? Ek hi option bacha. Surya Kiran. Jaldi se ye bhi bata dijiye. Surya Kiran, India with a country with uh, which we share open border. No, not Bangladesh. लीगली ओपन बॉर्डर करेक्ट आंसर इज नेपाल सो सूर्य किरण इज इंडिया एंड नेपाल बायोलिटल मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज अच्छा देखिए जापान के साथ हम लोग नेवल एक्सरसाइज भी करते हैं बायोलिटल नेवल एक्सरसाइज विद जापान कैन यू नेम दैट सो धर्म गार्डन इज द मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड जापान सो जैपनीज सेल्फ डिफेंस फोर्स एंड इंडियन आर्मी इंडियन आर्मी इज डोगरा रेजिमेंट टेक्स पार्ट इन दिस धर्म गार्डियन सो इंडियन आर्मी का डोगरा रेजिमेंट और जैपनीज सेल्फ डिफेंस फोर्स बट वॉट अबाउट सेल्फ डिफेंस नेवी ऑफ जापान सो नॉट मिलान मिलान अर्नव इज इंडिया बिगेस्ट मल्टी लेटरल मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज एंड देर आर फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस कंट्रीज दैट वर इन्वाइटेड बाई इंडिया टू टेक पार्ट इन मिलान वी कवर्ड मिलान इन आई थिंक प्रीवियस एपिसोड नो इट्स नॉट जिमिक्स इट्स अगेन इट्स अ मैत्री सो विच मैत्री सो हम लोग बहुत मैत्री निभाते हैं सो मित्र शक्ति है गरुड़ शक्ति है इट्स कॉल्ड शिन्यू मैत्री शिन्यू मैत्री शिन्यू बेसिकली मीन्स पक्का और रियल और गुड वन सो गुड फ्रेंड्स और रियल फ्रेंड्स शिन्यू मैत्री ठीक है चलिए मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट Which of the following statement is incorrect? Shun Yu met three. They just funny. That's correct. Chali. Option A. Japan will invest 3.2 lakh crores in the next five years in India. I think they can. Option B. Nine JICA loans for that is Japan International Cooperation Agency loans for projects in connectivity, water supply, and sewerage, horticulture, healthcare, and biodiversity conservation in various states. Option C. An MOU has been signed to introduce. Jokaso technology in India by Japanese companies for decentralized wastewater treatment. It is used in areas where sewage infrastructure has not yet been developed. Option D, none of these. चलिए, let's see. Option C के गलत होने के chances काफी कम हैं. इस तरीके के statement incorrect generally नहीं होते. So they either change the data or name of the place. Or the ear. Okay. Okay. Correct answer is option B. 
that means option b is incorrect statement why is it incorrect find out so 14th india japan annual summit two countries are celebrating 70 70 years of establishment of uh, diplomatic relations and india is also celebrating 75th anniversary of its independence this initiative uh, india and japan has also launched clean energy partnership for cooperation towards achieving sustainable economic growth addressing climate change and ensuring energy security and this initiative was launched on the occasion of 14th india japan annual summit which was held between fumio kishida and narendra modi in delhi well india japan energy dialogue was also established in 2007 and it is in continuation of that partnership of india and japan will lead to clean growth by boosting job creation innovation and investment it will also demonstrate to the world that india and japan are at the forefront in delivering on the ambitious climate and sustainable development goals the true the two prime ministers also committed to continuing further discussions for establishment of joint credit uh, joint crediting mechanism jcm between india and japan for the implementation of article 6 of the paris agreement so what is article 6 of the paris agreement it is a, also an interesting concept you know, uh, so paris agreement gave pollution control targets or emission control targets to all the countries of the world so every country has its own target that it needs to achieve but there is a catch there is a cheat code available so it's like we are taking a test and i told you everybody needs to score at least 75 marks in order to pass you know exam let's say of 100 marks but you're also allowed to give away your extra marks to someone else if you feel like so let's say if there is a duffer student who couldn't score well किसी के पचास ही नंबर आए तो वो 25 मार्क्स बोरो कर सकता है दूसरों से सो यस इट इज कार्बन क्रेडिट सृष्टि पॉइंटेड दैट आउट सो कार्बन क्रेडिट्स मींस आप अपने टारगेट्स अचीव नहीं कर पाए तो किसी और के टारगेट्स जिसने अचीव किए हैं उसके बोनस पॉइंट अपने पास ले सकते हैं कार्बन क्रेडिट्स एक्सचेंज किए जा सकते हैं सो इट इज ऑल्सो अ गुड डील दैट इंडिया एंड जापैन आर ट्राइंग टू सीमेंट okay so key highlights the two sides inked six agreements providing for the expansion of bilateral cooperation in a range of areas besides forming a separate clean energy partnership the clean energy partnership will focus on electric vehicles storage systems including batteries charging infrastructure and hydrogen japan has allowed, announced 5 trillion investment 5 trillion dollar investment uh, uh, in india for next 5 years bahut sara paisa so prime minister modi appreciated japan's support for india's socio economic development over the years the prime minister also welcomed the signing of exchange of notes concerning 7 yen loan projects so it wasn't 9 it is 7 so that was the incorrect statement one 9 likha the answer should be 7 you, uh, yen loan projects which japan provides over 300 billion yen so kafi projects ko japan support karta hai india mein the Prime Minister recognized that digital technologies would play an increasingly important role in the post-COVID world and welcomed the growing cooperation under India-Japan Digital Partnership. PM, uh, PMs reaffirmed, reaffirmed their resolve to make India-Japan special strategic and global partnership more robust and complementary in view of 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations in 2022. And we are going to do that by people-to-people -people exchanges, tourism and sports. Okay, chali. Moving on. Next is India's Arctic policy. The center on Thursday released India's Arctic policy with uh, the aim of enhancing the country's cooperation with the resource-rich and rapidly transforming region. The policy also seeks to combat climate change and protect the environment in the region which is warming three times faster than the rest of the world. So, Arctic ice is melting. Glaciers are melting at a rapid pace. So, it has been titled as DASH. So, you have to name India's Arctic policy. What is the title of India's Arctic policy? The policy is built on six central pillars. Science and research, climate and environmental protection, economic and human development, 
transportation and connectivity, governance and international cooperation, and finally, national capacity building. It was unveiled by Earth Sciences Minister Dash. So, your two questions are name of India's policy and name the Earth Sciences Minister. Apart from being rich in mineral and oil resources, the Arctic region is also particularly significant due to the many shipping routes that run through it. So, if the Arctic ice melts completely, many more shortcuts will be available. Okay. The adverse effects of climate change are not only impacting the availability of minerals and hydrocarbon resources, but are also transforming global shipping routes. According to an analysis of the policy, uh, policy published by the Manohar Parikar Institute for Defense Studies and, anal uh, and analysis. So, oh, there is an institute in the name of Mr. Manohar Parikar. So, Manohar Parikar Institute of Defense Studies and Analysis has published it. India also plans to study the impact of climate change in the Arctic to improve the response mechanisms across the world. It aims to offer a better analysis of the implications of ice melting in the Arctic on global shipping routes, energy security and exploitation of mineral wealth. So if the Arctic ice melts, which country will be largely benefited? Let me just read comment section. Clat may marks borrow hone chai nahi hote. Sorry, Aranya, aisa hota nahi hai Achha, this is what you are also saying. <laughs> Sad reality. India in the Arctic building a partnership for sustainable development. Shishti, that's correct. India in the Arctic building a partnership for sustainable development is the title of India's Arctic policy. Who is the Minister of Earth Sciences? Bupendra Yadav is incorrect, Yavin. Shishti, that's correct. Yathart, that's correct. Anmol, that's right. Yavin, ha, finally, that's right. Correct answer is Dr. Jitendra Singh. Let's move on. India holds one of the dash positions on the uh, as the observer in the Arctic Council. So, Arctic Council is a close group of few countries, and there are some observer states. So, India is having a seat at the Arctic Council, not as a member but as an observer. So, how many members are there? 11, 12, 13, or 14. 11, 12, 13, or 14. So she says for 12, Yathart will go with 12, Anmol will go with 13, Aries will go with 12, majority fails. Correct answer, Anmol. So there are 13 observers. India initiated its Arctic research program in Dash, which is focus with a focus on climate change in the region. So in which year did we start our Arctic research program? 2004, 2005, 2006, or 2007? When did India start its Arctic research program? Quickly. 2004, 5, 6, or 7. 2006, 2006, 2000. Q, Sashank, that's not an option. 2005, 7. Yad kar lije, koi baat 2007 is the right answer. The region holds immense ge geopolitical importance as the Arctic is projected to be ice free by dash. So, Arctic ka ice completely melt on wala and the world powers are making a beeline to exploit the region rich in natural resources. Arctic was one of the major bone of contention during World War One, and later on we decided ki abhi because it is uh, inhabit uh, not habitable we will leave it. If the ice melts, again, many countries will, will start claiming territory on the Arctic. Just Google about it, you will get to know what are the overlapping claims made by different countries about Arctic. Chaliye. So, Arctic kab tak ice free hone wala hai? 24, uh, 35, 2040, 2045, 2050. Arctic jane wala hai 2050 mein. So, 2050 mein ice free ho jayega. Kabhi chalenge ghoomne. Let's move on. Which of the following mission is, uh, which of the following statement is incorrectly matched? Which of the following statement is wrongly matched? India's engagement with Arctic began when it signed the uh, Svalbard Treaty in 1920 in Paris between Norway, US, Denmark, France, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Great Britain and Ireland and the British Overseas Dominions and Sweden concerning Spitsbergen. So, Spitsbergen is a place which is habitable. Spitsbergen is the largest island on the uh, Svalbard archipelago, uh, part of Norway in the Arctic Ocean. This one 
is correct so you can skip option b pick something from a c and d so spitsbergen is the only permanently inhabited part of svalbard more than 50 percent of the land is covered in ice year round together with the glaciers it is uh, mountains and jords that define the landscape b is correct yes Har harshita b is correct which one is incorrect Shank says we will have World War 4. World War 4 pehle 3 to honne dije. Achhe se 3 bhi nahi ho paaya. Okay, chale right answer for this is option D. None of these. All these statements are correct. We'll move on. It was taken from an article of Indian Express. India's Arctic Policy. Ministry, Ministry of Earth Sciences has unveiled India's Arctic Policy. Title, now we already know. India and the Arctic building a partnership for sustainable development. And India is one of the 13 members uh, as observers in Arctic Council. Arctic Council is intergovernmental body that promotes research and facilitates cooperation among Arctic countries on issues related to the environmental protection and sustainable development of the Arctic region. India's engagement with the Arctic began when it signed the Svalbard Treaty in Feb 1920 in Paris between Norway, US, Denmark, France, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Great Britain and Ireland. So, these are the northernmost countries of the world. Okay. So, India has been closely monitoring all the developments in the Arctic region. India initiated its Arctic research program in 2007 with a focus on climate change in that region. Objectives included studying teleconnections between Arctic climate and Indian monsoon and to characterize sea ice in the Arctic using satellite data to estimate the effect of global warming. Uh, okay. Asharya says Kitri important organizations hai. in each class you tell new ones uh, guys one day I will take a session on international organizations and I will list out the uh, all the major important ones for you Chale, let's move on India also focuses on conducting research on the dynamic and mass budget of Arctic glaciers and sea level changes carrying out an assessment of the flora and fauna of the Arctic Relevance of Arctic for India can be explained under scientific research, climate change, environment, economic and human resource, geopolitical and strategic resources. Arctic region is commonly understood to refer to the region above the Arctic Circle, north of latitude 66 degree, 34 degree north, which includes Arctic, Arctic Ocean with the North Pole at its center. Eight Arctic states, Canada, Kingdom of Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Russia, Sweden and USA form the Arctic Council. So there are eight members in the Arctic Council and there are 13 observers. Any country, any organization or intergovernmental body can become an observer. It is uh, membership is open for all. But this group will decide whether to take you in or not. Sorry. Last passage, Exo Mars Mission 2022. The European Space Agency's ExoMars 2022 mission won't launch in September as planned after the agency suspended all cooperation with Russia's space program DASH. So name the Russian space program. Led collaboratively by DASH and the ESA, that is the European Space Agency, the mission aims to study past life on Mars. ESA's director, Joseph Ash Baker, called the September launch practically impossible but also politically impossible. Srishti gave the correct answer for the first one. We'll wait for the others. Srishti, yes, that's right. Correct answer is Roscosmos. So it is Russian cosmos. What are the Russian astronauts called? Boris question. Okay. So ExoMars has two parts. First part launched an orbiter and a lander in 2016 but the lander crashed the september 22 launch would have been a second installment to deliver a mars rover to the planet this second part of the mission was originally planned for july 2020 but it was postponed until this september due to technical issues 
ESA had hinted at the decision to suspend collaboration with Russia in Feb 28 press statement. That statement, in that statement, he said that the sanctions brought against Russia and the wider context of Ukraine conflict made a 22 launch very unlikely. And now it's been cancelled fully for this year. But while ExoMars is on hold, ISS, that is the International Space Station, operations were moving ahead as normal, as Kibar said. So, as Baker said, uh, three Russian cosmonauts joined the crew this weekend, having launched on a Russian Soyuz rocket from Dash on Friday. So, kaha se launch hua tha? Cosmonaut is correct answer, Nalini, for the previous question. Not comrades, it is cosmonauts, Ananya. Okay, chali. So, second question uh, on your screen, you have to name the place from where Russian Soyuz rocket was launched. And on March 30th, a Russian capsule is scheduled to return two Russians and one American astronaut back to the Earth. Sashang, so that's correct. Correct answer is Kazakhstan. So, another bonus question. India Kazakhstan uh, military exercise ko kya kaha jata hai? That is the most interesting name. So, humne uh, Garud ke baare mein dekha, Shakti ke baare mein pada. What about India Kazakhstan? military exercise well it is called khanjar Achha, himangi says i am unable to understand what is the pattern and how we will get to know about these answers uh, the easiest way would be that you should read week uh, your weekly ca snippet weekly ca bulletin available on your my ims portal go to the resource section and download the uh, download the pdf if you are not I am a student, you can enroll for a free program. You will still get access to some of the CA snippet PDFs available on the portal. Download the current month's PDF, read it and then attend this class. That way you will get a good revision of what. Okay, Kazin and Khanzar. Uh, it is also called Khanzar. That's also an interesting name. Let's move on. yes fact bites will also help so fact bite is uh, a current affairs journal available on your portal we update it every fortnight so always refer to the soft copy so read fact bites read cs snippet that way you will perform better in these sessions Chale, let's let's move on quickly Aage badte. next question on your screen which of the following statement is incorrect regarding exo mars mission your options are option a its first mission launched atop a Proton M rocket in 2016 and consisted of the European Trace uh, Gas Orbiter and Test Lander called whatever it is called. Shia Parelli. Check here. Option B. The orbiter was successful while the test lander failed during the descent to Mars. Option C. The second part comprises a rover and surface platform. The second part of the mission was originally planned for July 2021, but it was postponed until this September due to technical issues. Option D, none of these. Let's see. Shashank uh, says, Achha. Palak is the first one to respond. Palak says, C is incorrect. Then what is wrong in option C? You need to tell me that. Anmol says D. That is none of these. All these statements are correct. Rena is also saying C. So tell me what is incorrect in option C. Actually, right answer is option C. Palak, yes, that's correct. So they have mentioned July 2021, whereas it was planned for July 2020. Next question. European Space Agency and uh, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, were the original ExoMars collaborators, but NASA dropped out in 2012 due to budgeting problems. Imagine USA having budget issues. Russia took NASA's place in the project in which year? So, NASA was replaced by Roscosmos in which year? Because NASA gave was paise nahi the. Twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, or twenty sixteen. In which year Roscosmos replaced NASA in ExoMars mission? Twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. Correct answer is twenty thirteen. Uh, Dhruvi, Anjali, and Aries were the first one to answer. Chale, moving on. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Which of the following statement is incorrect? 
the primary aim of the mission is to check if there has ever been life on Mars and also understand the history of water on the planet. I think that statement can't be wrong for any such mission. Sabhi log, no, moon mission mein bhi to yehi ho raha hai. China ne abhi jaake chand pe pani dhoon nahi koshish ki hai aur yeh Mars pe dhoon raha hai. European rover will drill to the subsurface of Mars to collect samples from about 2 uh, meter of depth. The main, goals is, the main goal is to land ESS rover at a site which has high potential for finding well-preserved organic material, particularly from the history of the planet. Sashank says, can you hold a session on the construction of the new ISS? Uh, please leave that comment once this live session ends. Uh, as a comment on that video, I can come back and check. Live session mein jo aapke comments hain, wo after the session ends will go away. So I won't be able to go through the entire chat and find out kisne kya kaha tha. Chali. Correct answer for this one is obviously none of these. All these three statements were correct. Moving on. A bit more information about this issue. European Space Agency's mission will not work now. Why? Because Russia got into a war situation with Ukraine. And European Space Agency, mostly members are uh, NATO members and therefore they will not cooperate with Roscosmos anymore. ESS Director General Joseph S. Becker called uh, the September launch practically impossible and also politically impossible. So what is this mission? It is a two-stage mission. First part launched an orbiter and a lander in 2016, but the lander crashed. In September 22, launch would have been a second installment to deliver Mars rover to the planet. This second part of the mission was originally planned for July 2020. ESA and uh, NASA were going to do it originally, but NASA backed out because of budget issues, paisa nahi hai, and Russia took NASA's place in 2013. The primary aim is to check if there has ever been life on Mars and also to find out history of water on that planet. Russia responded to ESA's decision by saying that it would go to Mars independently. Aap nahi le jaoge, hum khud chale jayenge. Chale, some others, uh, Mar Mars mission, ye bhi kaafi interesting hai, this is important. Uh, NASA ka Mars mission kya lata hai, Perseverance rover. India ka Mars mission kya kya hai? India is among the few countries to send Mars mission. UAE's Hope Mars mission, UAE ka pehla first ever interplanetary mission hai. UAE's mission is called Hope Mars mission. India's Mars mission was called Mangalyaan or MOM, Mars Orbiter mission. It was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh by ISRO in November 2013. Chinese Mars mission is called Tianwen-1. Chale, so are you guys ready for the rapid fire now? Uh, guys, we have an upcoming event tomorrow. Uh, join me tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. We have a panel of students from HNLU Raipur. We are going to discuss what all they get to do at law school. You will get an insight of the law school life challenges the good things and the bad Chale, so uh, do join me tomorrow at 8 30 pm on our youtube channel if you want to meet if you have questions you can send me on whatsapp or you can also ask your questions during that live session let's start with the rapid fire you get 15 seconds to read and respond first question on your screen the world down syndrome day is observed every year on which date Next question. International Day for Forest is observed every year on which date? So, World Down Syndrome Day kab manaya jata hai aur International Day of Forest kab manaya jata hai? Your options are 20th, 21st, 22nd or 23rd March. Days and dates. On which day do we celebrate World Down Syndrome Day and on which day do we celebrate Day of Forest? Sashank says you don't respond on WhatsApp. Uh, keep on spamming, buddy. Might be your message got buried under hundreds of other messages. So you can resend it. Don't worry. Chale, so correct answer for both these questions would be 21st March, option D. So 21st March is celebrated as World Down Syndrome Day as well as International Day of Forest. So the World Water Day is observed every year on 22nd March. So 21st, we have 22nd March is World Water Day. 
what was the theme of world water day 2022 your options are ground water making the invisible visible safe drinking water water accessible to all water safety hygiene ground water making the invisible visible safe drinking water water accessible to all water safety hygiene correct answer is option a it was ground water making the invisible visible next question swami shivananda has been awarded with which civilian award your options are bharat ratna padma vibhushan padma bhushan padma shri by some claims he is the oldest person alive kya age batai ja rahi hai inki 125 years so which Award was given to Swami Shivananda, Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri. 125 years old, it's not so big achievement that we give Ratna to you. The correct answer for this one is option D. He has been honored with Padma Shri. Moving on. The Assam government informed the assembly that nearly 1.44 lakh illegal foreigners had been identified in the state until January 31st. This year, based on the Assam Accord of, Assam Accord is of which year? Your options are 1981, 1985, 1989, 1993. Yes, Riddhi, uh, Swami Shivaranda is a yoga instructor and he has been teaching yoga for past 50 years. He has also been helping out beggars and he has done many good things. Therefore, you get awards like Padma Shri. Okay, answer this one. Assam Accord is of which year? Turquoise gave the right answer. What about others? Uh, Shrishti, that's correct. Kunj, Vyas, that's right. Harshada, that's correct. Correct answer is 1985. Ninth, uh, ninth joint military exercise. Lamitye. So, today we have a military exercise. Padli aamne. Ye kiske saath hota hai? So, Lamitye is a ninth joint military exercise between Indian Army and your options are Seychelles Defence Forces, Maldives Defence Forces, Mauritius Defence Forces, Sri Lanka Defence Forces. Lamitye 2022. Kiske saath karte log? Okay, uh, Blab, that's incorrect. If that's the answer for this one. Question number six. You thought that's correct. Uh, no, that's correct. So she that's right question six correct answer is option a it is Seychelles defense forces which football team has won their first indian super league title in 2022 sabse pehla super league title mila hai football mein kis indian club ko your options are goa fc atm mohan bagan mohan bagan hyderabad fc none of these so is it mohan bagan hyderabad fc goa fc or none of these which football team has won their first Indian Super League? Mohan Bagan has been winning it for so many years. So that shouldn't be your answer. No, not Goa FC. Correct answer is Hyderabad Football Club. Sirdar Bardi Mukhmadev has been elected as the president of which country? So Sirdar Bardi Mukhmadev has been elected as the president of which country? Your options are Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan. And it's okay if you get confused between all these stands. Many people do. Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan or Uzbekistan. Turkmenistan. Correct answer is option A. Chale, bonus question. India has only one overseas overseas military base. In which country do we have our overseas military base? India ka ek overseas military base bhi hai. Wo kaun se country mein hai? It is in the Central Asia. So Central Asian countries are all these istans. Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, but answer is not, not on your screen. Okay. Satesh gave the right answer. No, Ananya, not Russia. It used to be Russia, but now it is a stan. No, not Mauritius. Mauritius has been open. We have never accepted Mauritius military base. Not Pakistan. That is a testing site. Pakistan is a testing site. We test our missiles there. Uzbekistan is incorrect. Correct answer is Tajikistan. So, Tajikistan is the right answer. Let's move on. 
Okay, question nine. Who has been awarded with the coveted Sports Star of the Year, female award of 2022? Sports Star Aces Award, Sports Star of the Year, female Konmana. Rani Rampal, Sanya Mirza, Mirabai Chanu, Avni Lekhara. Rani Rampal, Sanya Mirza, Mirabai Chanu, Avni Lekhara. Who has been awarded with the coveted Sports Star of the Year award at the 22 Sports Star Aces Awards? Ananya, that's correct. Satesh, that's correct. So everybody knows the answer this time. Muskan, that's incorrect. Correct answer is option C. Meera by Chanu. So it is Meera by Chanu. Question 10. Who has been awarded the coveted Sports Star of the Year male award in 2022? Options are Rohit Sharma, MS Dhoni, Neeraj Chopra, Maryapan Thangavelu. Bonus question. Maryapan Thangavelu, which sports do you Rohit Sharma, MS Dhoni, Neeraj Chopra, Maryapan Thangavelu. Answer this question and also answer a bonus question. Maryapan Thangavelu represents India in which sport? Chali, correct answer for the question number uh, 9 is Mirabai Chanu. Correct answer for question 10 is Neera Chopra. And Maryapan Thangavelu, high jump in Paralympics. Yes, Harshita, that's correct. Question 11. Arthamis program is associated with which of the following space agency? Arthamis kiss. Space Agency ka program hai. Your options are ISRO, ZAXA, NASA, CSA. Artemis. Easy question to answer. But let's see how many of you can get it right. Devanshi, that's correct. Kya bola Devanshi ne by the Aha. Yes, cheek hai. Palak, that's incorrect. Uh, okay, Harshada, that's correct. Correct answer is option C. It's NASA. I hope, ha, shall So NASA, Arthamis is NASA's program. Which Indian American has been appointed as the new White House COVID-19 response coordinator? So Indian getting at good uh, positions is always important for us. Your options are Ashish Jha, Ajay Aroda, Namr Namrata Singh, Shubham Jaiswal. Ashish Jha, Ajay Aroda, Namrata Singh, Shubham Jaiswal. Which Indian American has been appointed as the new White House COVID-19 response coordinator? Chavi, that's correct. Okay. Correct answer for this one is Ashish Jha. We'll move on to question 13. As part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebration, a green triangle named after Mahatma Gandhi was inaugurated in which country? A green triangle for Ma named after Mahatma Gandhi was inaugurated in which country? Sessions, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Madagascar. Madagascar. Chale. So, correct answer is also name of one of my favorite movies. Okay, guys. Right answer for question 13 is option D, Madagascar. Question 14. Which bank has been honored with the Bank of the Year Award at the IFR Asia Award 2021? Which bank has been honored with the Bank of the Year Award at the IFR Asia Awards 2021? Your options are Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, uh, Bank of America, Citigroup. So, world's best bank, which bank has been honored with the Bank of the Year Award? Raina, that's incorrect. But I will frame a question for your response. Don't worry. So, answer from what you see on your screen. Your options are Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America or Citigroup. Which bank has been honored with the Bank of the Year Award? Right answer for this one is option A. It is Morgan Stanley. So, bonus question. Which bank has been honored with the Bank of the Year, South A, uh, Asian Bank of the Year Award? So, Asian Bank of the Year, kisko mila? Why not SBI? Satesh is asking, why not SBI? Satesh, for, uh, to find out the answer for your question, you need to go to counter number 4 or come after lunch hours. Okay, so which bank has been named South, uh, oh, sorry, Asian Bank of the Year Award? Asian Bank of the Year, correct answer is Axis Bank. Axis uh, Bank is uh, India's third largest private sector bank. Chale, question number 15. NATO has organized the massive military drill called Cold Response 22 in which country? Cold Response 22, kis country mein hua tha? Sweden, Poland, Norway, Belarus. Sweden, Poland, Norway, Be Belarus. Is may say ek option to outline rightly reject ho sakta hai. So be why? Because that country is a Russian ally. So Belarus cannot be an option. So you can throw away Belarus 
from this question and pick from A, B, C. Sweden, Poland, Norway. So when we say cold response, so obviously हम थोड़ा northern belt में जाएंगे. So pick from Sweden and Norway. Correct answer is Norway. The third edition of India-Uzbekistan joint military exercise. आज बहुत ज़्यादा military exercise पढ़ लिया हमने. Dustlik commenced in which place? Your options are Rani Khet, Uttarakhand. Yangyarik, Uzbekistan, Jodhpur, Rajasthan, Nukus, Uzbekistan. The third edition of India-Uzbekistan joint military exercise, Dustlik, commenced in which place? Rani Khet, Yangyarik, Jodhpur, Nukus. Okay. Last time it was held at Rani Khet, Uttarakhand. So option A is incorrect. Correct answer is option B, Yangyarik. Uzbekistan. Dustlik is joint military exercise between India and Uzbekistan. Question 17. Ashlik Bharti announced her retirement from tennis at 25. She hailed from which country? Ashlik Bharti. Sweden, Finland, Australia, South Korea. Easy question. Most of you must have read about her. So Bharti announced her retirement and all the tennis stars were supporting her and celebrating her decision. She is retiring when she is at the top of her career. Correct answer is option C, Australia. Question 18. Who has been awarded with the ABLE Prize 2022? Day before yesterday, there was a nice Q&A uh, interview published in The Hindu with this guy. I hope you guys read it. Your options are Dennis Parnell Sullivan, Evie Vic Darson, Laszlo Lovaz, Hillel Furtensberg. Uh, Pardon me if I didn't pronounce it well. Chale, so, your uh, who has been awarded with the Abel Prize 22? And he is from which field? Ye bhi bata rahe. So, Dennis Parnell Sullivan is the right answer. Correct answer is Dennis Parnell Sullivan. He is an American mathematician. Question 19. Last two questions, guys. Rapid fire. President Ramnath Kovin on Friday awarded the prestigious President's Scholar uh, 2. Kisko diya unane? President Ramnath Kovin on Friday awarded the prestigious President's Scholar 2. INS Kochi, INS Valsura, INS Vishakha Patnam, INS Tutikoran. Okay. Correct answer, I think it's slightly difficult. Correct answer is INS Valsura. Last question, Environment Minister Bhupendra Yadav today informed that October Dash has been designated as National Dolphin Day to be celebrated every year. So, is then sub look dolphin dekne jayenge. So, uh, National Dolphin Day will be celebrated. Okay, jaldi se. Third uh, October, fifth October, seventeenth October, and ninth October. So, two October ko Gandhi ji ko yad kije, or fir fifth October ko dolphin dekhe. Let's move on. Well, a quick one-liners. Ace Indian uh, Pankaj Advani has recently won his 8th title at the 19th Asian Billiard Championship in Doha. And he defeated Dhruv Sitwala in 6-2 set. Every year, March 20th, UN celebrates International Day of Happiness since 2012. And this year's theme is Build Back Happier. So, Build Back Happier is the theme of International Day of Happiness. We celebrate International Day of Happiness on March 20th. Indian Army contingent arrived in Seychelles for the 9th edition of the Joint Military Exercise. Lemithier, we discussed that in previous question. The exercise is being, being conducted at the Seychelles Defence Academy from March 22nd to 31st. Union Cabinet has approved the continuation of the National AIDS and STD Control Program, a central sector scheme fully funded by the Government of India from 1st April to March 31st, 2026 with an outlay of 15,471 crore by approving phase 5 of the program. 75 women were conferred with the Women Transforming 
India Award 2021 in recognition to their contribution towards a sashakt or samarth Bharat. The world number one, Victor Axelsson, defeated India's Lakshya Sen to win the prestigious All England Open Badminton Championship. So winners are always important and even losers if they are from India. So somebody uh, was a runner-up, so we, you need to know his name. So uh, Victor Alexson, Axelsson defeated Lakshya Sen. Pankaj Advani won his eighth title. One uh, World Water Day, we have discussed that Union Minister Gajendra Singh, Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh launched a countrywide project named Sujalam 2.0 to re uh, reuse grey water or runoffs from kitchens, bathing and laundry. Wings India 22, Asia's largest event on civil aviation, got underway today at Begumpet Airport, Hyderabad. Not today, day before yesterday. It was organized by the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce, FICCI. The theme of the event this year is India at 75, New Horizon for Aviation Industry. So, Wings India 22, Asia's largest event on civil aviation. Theme India at 75, New Horizon for Aviation Industry. Bangladesh Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin has said that BIMSTEC Charter is proposed to be signed during the forthcoming summit, which will be held in Sri Lanka on March 30th. India, along with 12 other UN Security Council members, abstained on a resolution by Russia on the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. It would be better if they would have framed it as Russia and China voted in favor, rest all abstained. Haryana Assembly has passed Haryana Prevention of Unlawful Conversion Bill 2022. It is part of a series of similar laws enacted by other states in our country. Union Cabinet has approved the creation of National Land Monetization Corporation. NLMC. So, NLMC has been given the mandate or the task to carry out monetization of government surplus land holdings. So, PSUs in India uh, have a lot of land holding. Many times it is laying vacant, it is not being utilized. So, government is trying to sell it and make some money. India has sought timeline till 2030. We want to extend deadline till 2030. For what? For phasing out tube lights. So why do we need to phase out tube lights? So that we can reduce effects of mercury. So uh, other countries including EU, EU and US have pushed for 2025 deadline and India is seeking time till 2030. India and its oldest strategic partner in the Gulf, Oman, have decided to up their ties uh, in future in all the sectors such as space, mining, maritime and science and technology. India has successfully text uh, test fired another version of Brahmos. So, surface to surface Brahmos supersonic cruise missile in Andaman and Nicobar. NASA has rolled out Artemis 1 moon mission to the launch pad for testing at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Artemis 1 NASA, we had a question about that. Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters has awarded Evil Prize for the year 22 to American mathematician Dennis Sullivan. India's annual, so some good news, India's annual goods export has crossed 400 billion dollar mark. So it is for the first time ever. RBI Governor Shaktikan Das has inaugurated Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, RBIH, in Bangalore, which is intended to encourage and nurture financial innovation in a sustainable manner through an institutional setup. So RBI's Governor Shaktikan Das has inaugurated Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. And Indian exports have crossed four goods exports have crossed 400 billion mark. Chale, so we'll stop here. Thank you so much for attending. We'll cover legal updates in the next weekly law scoop. Do join me tomorrow 8:30 p.m. and we will we will get to interact with some of the existing students of HNLU Raipur from different years. You can ask your questions. You can also send your questions to me on WhatsApp or Telegram. And we'll meet again. Thank you so much for attending, guys. Before leaving, don't forget to hit that like button. It will not cost you much, but it will give us much required appreciation. So if you like what we are doing, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like all our content. Ring the bell icon if you want to receive timely notification about all the events that we are conducting here. Thank you so much. We'll meet again. Bye.